Thank you for joining us again on Pray TV. Today, as we're finishing up this week, we are going to be looking again at the strength of God to be able to deliver, to be able to lift us out of difficult circumstances. And you, no matter what your circumstance, you can learn how to press into God and find for your own soul's sake that release, that relief. Today we're going to look at a verse of Scripture, not just a verse of Scripture, but a set of verses of Scripture. In fact, it's probably more Scripture than we normally would be reading. But I felt like we really needed to see this in context. And it's about the story of Daniel. And we know about Daniel and the many different trials and tribulations that he went through and the insights that God gave to him. And I hope that you, if you don't know the story of Daniel, that you'll actually go and research it thoroughly and read the entire book. But we're looking at Daniel chapter 6 today. And we're going to actually begin reading at verse 19 and go through 28. But the reason for that is because we see that the king got tricked again by people who were out to get Daniel, out to minimize his faith in the Lord because they were, they were in deep conflict with him. And you know, you may be living in a culture, I know I am, in a culture that is hostile to the belief of the living God. There is, it's gone past just, well, pe some people are Christians and they're accepting of other people and their, and their faith. We are really living in, the, in a time where there is deep hostility to those who have faith. And I know we've got so many people in so many different countries that are watching this, that there are many of you who are living in places that are very, very hostile. And there are people that are trying to get you in trouble. There are people that are trying to find ways of minimizing your faith. And in this case, the king had made this decree and they had found that, that Daniel was praying and they ultimately threw him into the lion's den. But he was protected. And that's what this story is about. And that's what I want for us to be able to focus on here today. Again, it's Daniel 6, verses 19 through 28. And we're reading from the New International Version here today. At the first light of dawn, the king got up and he hurried to the lion's den. When he came near the den, he called to Daniel in an anguished voice, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, whom you serve continually, been able to rescue you from the lions? Then Daniel answered, May the king live forever. My God sent his angel and shut the mouth of the lions. They have not hurt me because I was found innocent in his sight nor have I ever done any wrong before you, your majesty. The king was overjoyed and he gave orders to lift Daniel out of the den. And when Daniel was lifted from the den, no wound was found on him because he had trusted in his God. At the king's command, the men who had falsely accused Daniel were brought in and they were thrown into the lion's den along with their wives and children. And before they hit the ground, before they reached the floor of the den, the lions overpowered them and they crushed all of their bones. Then King Darius wrote to all the nations and peoples of every language in all the earth. May you prosper greatly. I issue a decree that in every part of my kingdom, people must fear and reverence the God of Daniel, for he is the living God 
and he endures forever. His kingdom will not be destroyed. His dominion will never end. He rescues and he saves. He performs signs and wonders in the heavens and on earth. He has rescued Daniel from the power of the lions. So Daniel prospered during the reign of Darius and the reign of Cyrus the Persian. I want us just to think about how God saved this man, Daniel, in that lion's den. I don't know what the den is that you happen to be living in or what it is that might be troubling your soul, but I do know this. God is able to deliver you. God is able to provide a place, a way of escape. And we are going to simply pray into that right now because God is your protector. God will watch over you. He is going to lead you out. He is that strong warrior king that we talked about yesterday and we prayed into and the day before as well as we saw about, about how there was this amazing saving of Nehemiah and the protecting of him. And, and, and all through this week, we've been really focused on that. And we're going to again pray. Holy Spirit, we thank you that you are the God that saves your people. You are the God that is able to protect us when we feel fragile, when we feel overwhelmed, when we would faint in our own hearts when we look at our circumstance. But Lord, you are looking into us and you are seeing how you can come alongside of us. And you are using every opportunity to increase our faith. Lord, all of the trials, all of the troubles, all of the tribulations, are for this one purpose, Lord, so that you will accomplish the growing up of your personhood, your nature, your character in every one of our lives, so that we will be like you, so that when we stand before the Father in heaven, we will be able to be examples of those who have overcome. And Lord, you told us that we were not to be afraid because you have overcome the world. And if you can overcome the world, you can give us the strength and the power to be real overcomers. We are not overcoming in our own strength. We're not looking unto our own arm of flesh to deliver us. But Lord, even as you shut the mouths of the lions in that den, I pray you will shut the mouths of the accusers in our lives and you will be strong to deliver. Lord, you are the God of the ages, and you are getting testimony in the earth once again. Hallelujah. We thank you for that, Lord. And we pray, Father, that you will bless your people in this very hour, and that we will become strong, and we'll become bold, and that we will be able to make declaration of your saving grace in all of the earth. Amen and amen. Saints, go forth in the strength that the Lord is imparting to you right now.